The film is uh, called Chop Shop, and it's about a 12-year-old um, Latino street orphan and his 16-year-old sister, and they live and work in a 70-block kind of junkyard full of auto body shops and whatnot in Queens. It's called Willits Point. It's also known as the Iron Triangle, because if you look at it from the sky, it, it looks like a triangle of, of um, shacks all covered with kind of tin roofs and stuff. And um, F. Scott Fitzgerald called it the Valley of the Ashes in his book, The Great Gatsby. At that time, it was a dumping ground. And now it, it, it's between um, LaGuardia Airport and Shea Stadium and, and um, the U.S. Open, Corona Park. And there's this big billboard at Shea Stadium. It says, make dreams happen. And so you kind of start to wonder, what, it, what does that mean? <laughs> in general, the people, they were incredibly um, amenable and open to me being there because I was there for so long. In fact, while we were shooting, um, I remember this guy came up to me while I was walking from one place to another, and he said, hey, come, come here. I said, hey, yeah, I've seen you so many times, but we never said hello. He's like, yeah, yeah. He said, let me tell you something. The only reason we're letting you make this film is you've been here for one year. The actors were non-professional actors until they did the film, which I think we should make a big distinction about that because people keep writing, his films are with non-professional actors, but they're actors now because they did the film. I think the main difference between um, a professional and a non-professional actor is one has done it before. And um, so once these kids have been in the movie, they're actors. Uh, we saw thousands of kids in New York. We went to about 100 schools, 30 youth centers, all over the streets. And um, we put about 650 kids on tape. And um, after months of rehearsing with Alejandro, I picked him. And then I made him work in the garages for almost four or five months before we shot the film. First, the people there started to think that the movie was a documentary about Alejandro because he had worked there for so long. And I remember on day one, um, we were shooting some scenes of Alejandro calling cars into the garage. And when we turned off the camera and we were going to set up something else, he kept calling cars in. And someone in the crew said, hey, Ramin, maybe you want to let him know that, you know, um, we cut. I said, he knows, but he's trying to make five extra dollars from Rob, you see. My cameraman and I did go on location with all the actors one month before the film was made with a handy cam. And we rehearsed all the scenes on location with that handy cam. Um, one, so that he and I could figure, Michael Simmons, my cameraman, um, he did Man Push Card as well, so that he and I could kind of figure out how we're going to shoot this film, but also for the actors to get used to not rehearsing in a room anymore, but rehearsing on location. I never say action or cut. Um, action means end reality, begin acting, and cut means the opposite, and I can't see why anyone want, would want to do that. People who write about my films or talk about my films and say, uh, Barani's interested in mar marginal characters, I, I no longer really understand what that means. Um, because I think I'm making films about the majority of the people in the world. 